Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Amir. On today's episode, we're taking a look at Sylvester Stallone's recently listed Beverly Hills, California home. Yo, Adrian. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we like about this house. We like the curb appeal, and we like these trees. Damn, these are nice trees. These are some of the nicest trees we've ever seen on this show. We like that these two planters are friends. We like the entry. It reminds us of the entry Shonda Rhimes had in Hancock Park. Except hers had these twisties that look like challah, but they both have this little window that looks like the clock from Beauty and the Beast. We like the shape of this sculpture in the driveway. We love the museum vibe of the entry. Inside, we love this LAH. Long ass hallway. It's great for your 10,000 daily step count. We like the sunken living room, as well as how huge this Persian rug is. Just looking at this rug makes me want to come here. We love how cozy this little area feels. As a floating head, I'd lump here all the time. We love pretty much everything about the kitchen. We love its double island. We love the giant size of the range. We love that the cabinets are frosted and not see-through glass. No one wants to see the clutter that's behind these. And we even love these light fixtures. They seem relatively easy to clean. We love this eating area. Here's the room from the outside. Don't look at the pool, that's for later. And here it is from another angle. There's never been a better time in history to eat in a circle room. This is on our list of must-haves for a future mansion. A cozy place off the kitchen to eat most of your meals. See what I mean? Even the pups love to read the paper here. We love this whole chill wing. This is where we'd guess Rambo spends most of his time chilling at home. We love the bar area here. We love the size of the TV in here. Thank you to the homies in our Patreon group that helped me figure out what this thing is. And we love this tufted couch. We love the office vibe, especially the curvy ceiling. Curvy is always welcome and actually it's encouraged. And we love the idea that Sylvester Stallone's actually in here thinking about movies. Hello everyone. I just finished something which is always horrendous to do. Writing a screenplay. Writing is no fun. Oh, sorry. Never mind then. If you like the inside, the outside of this place is even better. This place is a 100% certified maximum chill oasis. It's a vibe vibe. It's the best of the best. It's the opposite of bad. There's a loggia. There's this awesome treat area. Here it is from another angle. There's a putting green. We love what this reminded us of when we first glanced at it. And there's a pool. Yes, there's a pool. We actually like the way they did the grass lines over here, but it's really all about this rocky statue in the view. This statue in the view right here is worth 40 million of the price alone. The only plausible reason I could come up with that he would want to get rid of this view is that Ivan Drago hit him in the head one too many times. Bird Streets. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate the entry statues. I'm pretty sure that's a lion over there. And that's a panther. Where are the tigers? It's the eye of the tiger, not the eye of the panther, and certainly not the eye of the lion. In the entry, we hate this gutter and this gutter. Did you really think you'd be able to hide them behind these trees? The homies are way too smart for that. The amount of Stallone memorabilia in this home, even though it's his home, is deranged, unhinged, and honestly, it broke my brain. There's so much of it, like in here, these photos, this stuff, his office full of it, even the theater is full of it. I hope he doesn't take all this stuff to his new Miami home and puts it in a museum instead. In the living room, we hate this wooden chair. And we hate that the fireplace doesn't go all the way up the wall. Dustville, USA. In here, we hate all of this photo frame clutter. And we hate the chandelier. It looks like a deconstructed Rubik's Cube. The last thing I want to do when I'm lumping on this tufted sofa is think about a deconstructed Rubik's Cube. Even though we said the kitchen was pretty much perfect, the refrigeration just doesn't seem adequate for this home. We also hate that on this island there are three panels, but on this one there are only two. In the theater, we hate this light. This is going to be an Airbnb for moths. We hate the gym. We expected better from the champ, Rocky Balboa. We hate that the guest house is too nice. A guest house doesn't need a living room this nice. It doesn't need a kitchen this nice. And please, Lord, do not give them their own pool table. A guest home should be good enough for a temporary stay, but not too good or else your guests will never want to leave. While we're here, this light feels like it's trying to hypnotize me. And what's up with these cabinets around this microwave? I don't get it. Finally outside, we hate this gutter and this gutter, and we hate all this pool equipment. I know that you need to have a space for all of this equipment, but what if you didn't? 
This home ranked a coveted five out of five on the homies home ranking scale. As always, welcome to the Stats After Show where we take a deeper dive into the stats. We gave this home a five out of five ranking for a variety of reasons. The curb appeal was great. The interior was nice. The land was amazing. And it doesn't get better than that view. Beverly Park is probably one of my most favorite neighborhoods in all of the land. Even though the price per square foot is really high, we've seen closer to 3K in Beverly Hills. Doesn't get better than this view. It may be one of the best views in all of LA, as well as the exclusiveness of Beverly Park. Although it's a little small at this price point and you probably expect 20 to 30,000 square feet, I bet it sells around 50 million. I actually know a stupid amount of info about Beverly Park. That's the home to the left of me. Right above it was the former home of Sumner Redstone, who was the CEO of Viacom, which sold for 27 million back in June. This home is Spider-Man producer Avi Arad's home. And The Rock Dwayne Johnson just bought this home for Mad About Use Paul Reiser for 28 million back in April. A little bit more with the stats. Seems like he's moving to Miami full time. We reviewed his home that he bought back in December. And for the same price, this is a way better deal than the 85 million Ryan Seacrest is asking for his home that we also reviewed back in December. See you all next episode. A special thank you to our Patreon Ice Coffee supporters. That's patreon.com slash Samir. With your support, I can be a loser and spend $5 on iced coffee every day. So thank you. And I want to give a special shout out to our Patreon Plus supporters. That's Spencer, Zachary, Melissa, CJ, Dan, Teddy, Megan, Lauren, and Emmy. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, you're still here? Picture this. One of the homies wins the lottery. So they buy this home and they make it an exclusive maximum chill lump zone vibe vibe club for homies to enjoy forever and ever. Thanks.